Hi everyone, welcome back to the channel yet again. Concluding our visit to Winchester along the A31, I'm heading home now and I'm in the ancient village of Alton for a couple of uh, little historical bits. Um, a very, very ancient village. Lots of traffic though, along from the main high street. Straight away, these beautiful old doors. The beautiful old doors, look at them. Oh, I'm liking that. Incredible, this church has got some wall paintings here from the 15th century, the 15th century. It's amazing. The original church was built in 1070s. So it's got Norman origins, but obviously much improved over the years. Now, St. Lawrence's has a huge connection to the English Civil War. A couple of battles of Alton, it's called. The first one was in 1643, which is said was just a minor skirmish. But later on, there was a major battle here where the Royalists were really defeated. There's a mass burial just north of the church. Apparently, there are still bullet holes from the, that battle uh, in the church door. Let's have a look. There you go. One up there. Some here as well. Wow. One there. Yeah, that second major battle was in December 1643. There's a little bit more information outside on the plaque. I'm going to have a quick look. Well, this is the north of the church. If I get my directions right. So this could be where the mass burial is of the Royalist soldiers. Yeah. During the winter of 1640, the Royalist Army of Sir Ralph Hopton was based in Alton and on the 13th of December, the part of the army of William Sadie surprised Hopton's army in what became known as the, uh, came known as the Battle of Alton. We're now just going to move up the road to the cemetery because there's something really interesting and incredibly sad I want to show you. So I'm in Alton Cemetery and the tree cutting. So there's going to be a bit of noise here. <laughs> and I'm looking for the grave of one of the most tragic murders um, of the Victorian era and that of sweet Fanny Adams. On Saturday the 24th of August 1867, Fanny Adams was out playing, I think with her sister and some friends, and she was lured away by a, a clerk, an accountant's clerk, called Frederick Baker, where he brutally, brutally murdered her. If that wasn't horrific enough, he dis dismembered her body and scattered all over the place. One of the most horrific murders of the Victorian era, of any era really. It totally shocked Victorian society something so brutal could happen. Everyone gathered together to go out and find her missing limbs, missing body parts. Well, even when you research this, it really hits you right to the bone, right to the bone, how gruesome and barbaric the murder was. Here's her grave, 
right by where everyone's skimming the lawn and everything. It's so loud, typical. A guy's streaming the lawn right by her grave. So I had to quickly get some shots before he came back. Can you believe it? <laughs> it's got to be done, I suppose. It's got to be done. But yeah, Frederick was eventually convicted and he was executed at uh, Winchester Prison, one of the last public executions uh, at that prison. Absolutely tragic tale. Oh, now he stops. It was around this time that this new tinned mutton was introduced into the Navy and it tasted bad. Hence the phrase, it tasted like the remains of sweet Fanny Adams. That's what the sailors were saying at the time. That evolved over time into sweet FA, sweet all. I'm sure Fanny would rather not have a swear word named after her. But, um, yeah, sweet Fanny Adams then came into sweet F all. So there you go, guys. A little visit to Alton and the church and the tragic tale of sweet Fanny Adams. So sad, so sad. But with the uh, guy in the background mowing the lawn, thanks for watching. Please like, subscribe, all that normal stuff. And we'll see you next time. Take care. Thank you.